Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're gonna to be doing a drum lesson about ghost notes, using your left hand to fill in the backbeat on the snare drum. When you're playing a groove, typically you've got your kick pattern, you've got your snare as the backbeat, and you've got your hi-hat pattern. The hi-hat stays consistent for the most part, except for filling in with some little hits here and there, or maybe some open hi-hats or barks. The kick pattern is usually the thing that's defined by the song, maybe by the bass pattern or maybe the drummer came up with the kick pattern and that's just what it is. It could be four on the floor for top 40 or it could be something more intricate for a hip hop or R&B groove. The snare is usually on two and four, hence backbeat. One, two, three, four. Now, a really cool technique that you can use is called ghost notes. You've probably heard about these before. Basically, they are quieter notes that are played with the left hand in between your backbeat. Okay, so let's take a look at an example of a ghost note pattern. So when you're learning this pattern, something that I think is very important is to start with your hi-hat and your snare. You just want to get comfortable, get into the pocket. Don't worry about your kick pattern. Just play consistent strokes on the hi-hat. So today we're doing eighth notes and then two and four on the backbeat with your left hand on the snare. So let's start by getting consistent strokes on the hi-hat. We're gonna play eighth notes. Next, let's add the backbeat, two and four on the snare with our left hand. Okay, once you feel comfortable and you feel like you've got a good flow, a good pocket, then you can start adding the ghost notes. Now we're gonna choose a kick pattern and we wanna choose something that's complementary to our ghost notes. You can pretty much use any kick pattern that you want, but in this case, we're focused on the ghost notes. We wanna make them feel like they're flowing in the groove. Something you could do to challenge yourself is choose a ghost note pattern and play a variety of kick patterns. But today, we're just gonna focus on this one right here. So check it out. Something that's very important is, unless you can play the beat at the full speed right away, it's best to start slow. And I mean with most grooves, you probably want to start slow and work your way up. Especially if we're focusing on consistency and making sure that our ghost notes feel good. I think it's important that you play this groove slow and then just build up the speed. So I've slowed it down for you. Not just slowed it down, I play it slower, as I do with all my clips. Check it out, watch it at the slow and the medium tempo, and then try it at the fast tempo once you've got it under your fingers.
Something I find is very important as well is once you've learned a certain pattern, whether it's ghost notes or a kick pattern or a groove or a fill or something, you should try playing it and improv. What I mean is essentially just incorporate it into your playing. So, you know, not strictly staying to the pattern, but maybe inserting it in certain portions of your groove or, you know, just messing around with it because that's the way that you'll internalize it. That's the way that you'll make it a part of your drumming language, which is what I want you guys to take away from all of these lessons. I want everything you learn to become somehow influential in your playing and benefit your playing so that you've expanded your vocabulary. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for checking out this lesson. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe, share it with a friend, send it to a drummer that you know that might benefit from it. I really appreciate it. I'll see you at the next lesson.